Now I'm like, shorty, what you doing? What you call for? She sees that freeze on my neck, that's what she'll fall for. She said, I'm always on her mind, I should get off more. Said, I can work a nine to five and still get off to Now I'm like, shorty, what you doing? What you call for? What is up y'all, welcome back to my new channel I'm pretty much just gonna jump straight into it, you feel me? So today, I'm doing a very highly requested video A lot of y'all have been requesting this video since my last routine slash tutorial, you feel me? As you guys know, I started waving It didn't go too good, you feel me? I waved for like one month The progress was there, but the passion wasn't It's itch, it used to stink, it used to stink so bad so I pretty much had to let it go and go back to the roots that I'm familiar with. As y'all know, it's Curl Up Boy Milo. But when I take this hat off, don't, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, because it look like straight booties. I'm about to show y'all how I get my life together when I'm going through this rough state. How I go from booty to on duty. So let's, uh, let's get straight into it. So first let me show y'all the gear that I got to get myself together. Chop, 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 fully. First I'm using a little 99 cent brush from Beauty Supply. I'm using the Bayless Pro Coreless Gold FX Clippers, Haircut Clippers, Tutorial Clippers. Um, yeah, made in China. And this T Outliner Coreless Trimmers, made in Egypt, I'm just guessing. For my bald neck is the Andis Fade Bald Trimmer Bald, um, this was made in China. <laughs> it was made in China. And this ball shaver for the blade. I'm using this Black Widow blade holder. It's litty lit because it got a spider. I'm using this to uh, wipe off dusty hair off my neck. For the blades, what I am using is the Derby Premium Blades. These were $6.49 at the beauty supply place. For the guards, I am using the typical Bayless Pro guards that came with the clippers. Yeti, focus! 0.5, aka the 1 16th guard. I'm using the 1 guard, aka the 1 8th guard. And also the 2 guard, aka the 1 4th guard. When I get to this bad boy, I'm gonna be using this sucker. Elegant Save Gel, Rosage, Apatito, Apatito, what did it say? Rosage, Apatito. The fragrance of this is Earth. So um, if you wanna know what Earth smells like, get your elegance. And this video is not sponsored by nobody, so don't come for me. Real talk, so the shampoo and conditioner, I am using Diva Curl. Diva Curl No Poo Shampoo. Also using the One Condition Decadence. It's the blue top. These are pretty pricey, so I would not recommend getting this shampoo in this conditioner if you are balling on budget. Shea Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner, that's pretty much my to-go-to. If I'm not using these, the last time I did this video, I used Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner, and I think that was it, I don't remember. This time, I'm using the Curl Enhancement Smoothie, Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Moisture. And let me tell you something about this product. I actually used to hate this product. If anybody said anything about this product, I would laugh at your face and probably spit on your new J's. It was a no-go for me, and it's all because because I did not know how to use it. This is gonna sound pretty stupid, but with curls, it comes science. With curls, it comes math, logic, social studies. It takes a lot of knowledge to pull off curls, unless you just have perfect freaking hair, you lucky son of a Unless you just have perfect hair, and your hair is just fire from adding water. If you don't know what porosity is, it's basically your hair's ability to absorb moisture. Learn your porosity. Ever since I started using this, it kind of changes the way I look at all products. I'm just like, bro, all products work. You just gotta know how to, it's kind of like basketball. Everybody can play basketball, but is nothing like basketball. I do not recommend this on really thin hair because it is, it does weigh down your curls. And also learn your hair type. Me, I got anywhere between three C to A, B, C, D. So yeah, today is my first time using the Eco Styling Gel. I never use it. A lot of people use it for their edges, you know what I mean? Um, it says no flake, no tack, anti-itch. There is a goddamn lie because I know this stuff flakes. Ooh, this, ooh, that smell good. Baby! This stuff smell good. Oh, I gotta reveal you on my head. God damn it, me. Boy, 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 do I look rough. Do I look rough. My hair really look dusty. Like dusty, boy. Look musty, boy. You look like a booty bread. You know the end of the bread booty. That's exactly what you look like, boy. But yeah, so we just gonna get into this. Almost forgot you, baby. <laughs> I'm also using this freaking blue comb. Almost forgot you, Johnny B. 
So we're pretty much just gonna start by taking our Andy's T outliners to create our first ball line. And as you can see, I'm doing a drop fade. So instead of creating a consistent line all the way around my head, I'm gonna curve the ball line towards my neck. And after that, I'm gonna take my Andy's ball trimmers. And with this, you don't wanna take it too high because it's gonna create a very solid line and it's gonna be very hard to get rid of later on. After that, I take my clippers with the lever closed. A closed lever is when the lever is pushed all the way forward, which means it will cut your hair shorter. And if it's open as it is in a video, it's the lever being pushed all the way back, which cuts the hair longer. So if you look at the video, you can see the lever is open and the lever is closed. So like I said, let's start with the lever closed to start knocking out that first ball line. So with this, you don't wanna go too too high but you want to go high enough to start creating that transition then I open the lever and I go up about a half of an inch I would say from there you will see this faint line and this is probably my favorite line to blend because you really start seeing the transition but you want to flick the lever about halfway so in between of open and close and you're gonna slowly see this line disappear then you want to take your one guard aka your one eighth guard with the lever closed and you want to start creating another guideline and do not let this step fool you because there's a lot more that went into this than you guys see if you're not an experienced barber and not familiar with flicking the clippers right here you will normally see another line that you would have to take out with the step i'm about to show you right here so pretty much it's a super simple step you just take your 0.5 aka your 1 16th with the lever closed and you literally just work that spot it's super simple and it's like one two three so after that you want to take your two guard aka your one fourth guard with the lever closed and you want to knock down this bulk area but one thing i really want y'all to remember man get in the habit of doing this always flick your clippers at the top of each stroke as so in the video but man i do not know why my flick was so clutch today bruh but it was just working normally i would see a line right here it's kind of faint but it's pretty easy to get rid of just take your one guard lever open and just work it out make sure you're flicking at the top of that stroke just to minimize the more work that you got to do but boy i swear to god that fade looks smooth as hell boy that fade looks smooth from there you just want to brush down your line and like uh, uh, take your one guard lever open uh, uh, easy money boy and do not skip this step, bro, because this is how you get that crispy criminal line. You feel me? Christmas. Cri wait. And you already know the blade work is a must. Just make sure you're really stretching that skin and getting familiar with holding the blade because that's what a lot of barbers complain about. They usually complain about the blade just being uncomfortable, not knowing how to hold it, yada, 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 yada. Got to put the elegance on my face so I don't walk around looking like the green shoes on me. Time to wash my hair, you feel me? So let's start with the No Poo Shampoo by Diva Curl. We're gonna start by soaking our hair in H2O and then massage the shampoo in there slow. <laughs> now stay at bars. <laughs> Man, get your wild too calm so you can detangle your fro. Ha, <laughs> bars. <laughs> what the fuck? From there, you gotta take your conditioner while your hair is still soaking, wet, dripping, pimping, you feel me? And you just massage it in your hair, shake your hair, move your hair, and just do what you gotta do. I would normally leave this conditioner in my hair for around 30 minutes, but for the sake of this video and your guys' patience, I'm going to wash it out right now with cold water.
Yo, so this is how my hair would look if I was to apply the product how you would normally apply the product, but keep that in mind. And I'm gonna show you how it looks after I apply it, how I apply it. Yo, so this is how my hair looks after I apply the product my way. So if you guys want a separate video of me showing you what I call the holy grail of applying products, just let me know. From now, I took the Eco Styling Gel. Not too sure about it, but I added just a little water just to thin it out a bit. And I just applied it to my hair. <laughs> but here go the transformation. Oh my God. Why you look like that? Boy, you ugly as hell. Oh, oh, yo, ay, 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 turn up, ay, 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 turn up, ooh, 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 boy, you sexy, boy, you sexy, you real cute, you real sexy, they think you sexy. So yeah, I appreciate you all for checking in, bruh. This haircut is the haircut that I give myself every single time I cut my hair. I pretty much switch from product to product. This is just one that's been serving me justice for about a month. I actually bought it because I was out of town in Georgia and I just needed something while I was out of town. I usually use mixed chips. You can get that at CVS for like $20, I think. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody yet. Oh, but female products works magic. Do they even have male products for girls? I don't know, because I think curls are for girls. I don't, I don't know. For all of my curly heads, uh, shout out to y'all because we lit. Bring curls back. Bring curls back. You waivers, y'all need to go somewhere for real, for real. Real talk, because this world belongs to curly hair. Curly, curly, curly. Y'all just... Oh, no, not for real. Don't take that to heart. Y'all be butthurt. Yeah, but anyways, I'm going to check out of this video, man. Um, make sure y'all follow me on IG. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitter, make sure you follow me on Snapchat. Roll to two million on one, roll to one million on the other, roll to 100K on this one. Make that move, sub to this channel. This channel is gonna be more so my lifestyle channel, barber videos, hair tutorials, whatever y'all want, pranks, challenges. So let me know if y'all want more content. Let me know if y'all want me to do a video, what I call it, the holy grail of curls, you feel me? So let me know if y'all want me to show y'all how to actually apply product to this hair type. Specifically this hair type. So if you got curls that you can just add water to and run a comb through it and it's straight. Well, uh, shout out to you. Shout out to you. You winning in life. But yeah, let me know if y'all want me to make that video. I want y'all to stay drippy, you feel me? We out, chitty. Now I'm like, shorty, what you doing? What you call for? She sees that freeze on my neck. That's what she'll fall for. She said I'm always on the money. Yeah, 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 I'